John Moses Browning, arguably the most famous and best gun designer of the early half of the 20th century. A lot of people have had a lot to say about him, but I doubt anybody has approached this angle. So imagine the year is 1910, you are Belgium, and you want a new military handgun. First off, for whatever reason, you decide that you're going to get a 32 ACP. Second, you buy the design from John Moses Browning, the FN Model 1910. A decent pistol, by all accounts, so nothing special. If it had been designed by someone else, it would have honestly probably been forgotten. But then the following year, the United States military adopts this monster that is one of the most iconic guns of all time, the 1911. And you, sad little chocolatey Belgium, have this. Somebody definitely got the short end of the stick here, and I think we all know who it was. 